Hey YouTube modeling community, Dave Heights down here at the Rat's Nest. Hey, I thought I'd just jump on real quick. Um, have had a little time at the bench this week. Um, so, been working on a couple of projects here and there. Um, the one here that you're seeing here, my uh, swamp rat. Um, I'm kind of, <clears throat> I'm kind of just kind of winging this one. Um, I'm not even sure what type of suspension goes on them, but I'm kind of just scratch building most of that. I made them shocks. I've still got to get a tower in the center <clears throat> for supports. Actually used one of the old Hemi engines out of the old Don Garlitz uh, front engine dragster kit from back in the uh, 60s. Doing a little body work to it. This was something I started a long time ago. This was a rat rod project, this body. I'm not even sure, to be honest with you, what it started out as. I chopped it down. Uh, now I've been working on it a little bit. Well, that's one project I've been messing with. I actually started this for uh, Joe Thompson's uh, uh, build down there for the uh, off-road four-wheel drive monster truck dra tractor pull build a few months ago. I got started on it, the body I had on it got crushed in our move over here, and trying to find a replacement body, I just kind of set it off this side, and uh, like I said, I was going through some boxes this weekend, found this old project I'd started a while back, like I said, it, it needs a lot of body work, but I uh, will do to it what I can, it's a mud truck, it's not supposed to look pretty, so... I've got that front end taped off there. I uh, I come across some HO scale um, HO scale uh, styrene sheet that I had for sidewalks. So I uh, cut a corner out of it and made the firewall out of that, and then bare metal foiled it. I don't know why I was thinking bare metal foil it before you paint it, you knucklehead. But <laughs> I'll do what I got to. If have to, I'll replace the bare metal. But uh, no, it's uh, it's starting to take shape now. I kind of lost hope on it there for a while, and yeah, I'm starting to get res resurrected again. I had a buddy of mine ask me what I did for the frame. Um, of course, the front part's an old Revell funny car frame, and this section here in the back's the front end off of a uh, monogram sprint car and I just cut it and fused it together made the frame out of that some bars I had in a junk box made uh, traction bars torsion bars or whatever you want to call them I'm just going by what I've seen at the county fair you know, so I'm just kind of, like I said, going by the seat of my pants. But uh, now that's uh, that's one I'm getting resurrected to try to get it finished up. And I've been uh, messing around a little bit with the old Roadrunner. Um, i got to come up with some type of a uh, hood scoop for it now. I had to open the hood up. But, hey... A little more work. I just got some wheels setting up underneath of it. I thought them looked. I don't know. Let's see how it. Uh, see how that looks. But got to make a uh, hood scoop. I'm going to redo the hood anyway. 
Yeah, that's it's starting to come along. Got a got quite a bit to do to it. I just got it mocked up right now, but getting the uh, got a lot of work to do to it yet. Like I say, most of the parts on these bills, you know, they're parts box pieces. Especially on that mud bogger. That's just a bunch of parts out of the box. Started throwing it together. But, yeah, that's what we're working on down here at the nest. Um, got a few other things in the works. Getting ready to do a resto on this one. 71, 71 runner. I bought it minus the, when I bought it, I paid five bucks for it. It was minus the hood, the front, front grill and the rear bumper. I got a hold of a buddy of mine in Ohio. He had the parts. I got all the parts I need for it now. So it's getting ready to go through a complete restoration. That'll be another one I'll be working on and just finishing up on stuff that I've started. Um, like to finish up the 60 64 Belvedere I'd like to get that one finished I was going to attempt to get that finished for a contest back a few weeks ago but I got sick and never did get around to getting it finished but like I said been feeling a lot better um, taking care of the issues we had uh, pertaining to the water in, in the basement which honestly after uh, starting the cleanup process it wasn't as bad as we had really thought it would be um, like I said majority of it was cardboard getting wet cardboard boxes I mean we got rid of all the boxes immediately and uh, you know got all that stuff out and started mopping up cleaning up start spraying um, like I said, I got a buddy of mine supposed to be coming over and help me, uh, do some sealing. So, uh, he figures if we can get that sealed, sealed up where we've seen where it was coming in, get that sealed up real good and tight. Shouldn't have any problems. So, all right. Well, other than that, um, not a whole lot of other stuff. I mean, I'm starting to put some stuff out on my other bench over here that I've been finding and some other projects that I'd started. I just got to get to, I just got to get to the point where I can start getting some of these. I want to finish that one up at some point in time, the 26 Mac rat rod hauler. Dodge pickup. An MPC 69 Cornet. I stripped that body when I got it. It was, uh, I think it was a red, dark red. Stripped it and come out and look, looked like it come right out of the box. Cleaned up great. Some other projects. Stripping parts off of that. Got that in a collection. Somebody built. Got a few more other project cars. I got to get this one finished up for a Facebook build off. That's another one I need to finish up. I just got all kinds of parts and projects and got more than I know what to do with. <laughs> but yeah, we're uh like I say, we're over here just working on this a little bit and 
like I say, I've been finding some other projects and I've just been pulling them out and working on them. Um, a lot of them is just getting stuff final assembled. I get to that point for some reason, want to start another project and never finish this one. So uh, I'm sure I'm the only one with that issue. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I just want to check in real quick. Um, trying to uh, possibly have at least most of Saturday to set, set at the bench. Um, maybe get this thing. I want to get that hood hood the way it needs to be. I'm going to strip that hood back, reshoot it. But uh, I got to come up with some type. Had a little bit of a incident. So I'm going to have to sand that down. And got into the got into the primer. So anyway, it happens. I say strip it. Do it again. All right, fellas. I'm going to get off here. Um, do a little bit more work on this. Really liking how... I'm really liking how it's turning out. i got to get that... i got to get all this set just right before I go any uh, finalization on it. But that's what we're looking at right now, so... Like to get that one done. All right, everybody. Well, like I said, just wanted to check in. 